guys, hope you're having a great day today. It is Thursday, happy Thursday morning to you. I hope that your morning goes well. My morning is starting out great, encouraging, inspiring. One of those things where yesterday was a long day for me. It was a long day. I felt, I felt like I was running. Oh, and I was, I was, trust me, I was. And then, you know, it's so easy like to look at like, wow, I'm tired, I'm, I'm doing all these things and I'm taking kids here, there. Or you can start like going even further. Well, I have to go out of these things because we're in a new place and I'm learning things and blah, blah, blah. You, you, your mind can go on a tangent 20 different ways. And you know what, I got up, I went to sleep, I came home, we, um, I just, we put everything in the sink, didn't even put anything in the dishwasher and went to bed, went right to bed. I fell right asleep. <laughs> I was gonna come home and swim. And I was like, I'm so tired, I need to go to bed. And I did and I slept all night, which was beautiful. Woke up this morning and went upstairs and I was like, okay, I'm gonna have another day today of running. But I'm like, what can I do? I'm like, I could start thinking negative. <laughs> I could start thinking, how am I gonna make this all happen? And very well could, very well could. But you know what I did? You know what I did? At first, I've been reading a lot about casting your cares to the Lord, which we all know, correct? We all know we're supposed to cast those burdens, cast those thoughts. You know, we, we have things we're supposed to do. Don't think on those things that are not lovely or not a good report. Very easy not to. Trust me, we're humans. And so it was very easy to stop. And what I started doing is writing it down writing down the things I'm casting. Sometimes it's, it's good to say it, speak it. Sometimes I feel like I'm constantly saying it and speaking it to God. And so I, right away, I got up there and I just started writing down, okay, this is what I'm casting to you, Lord. Yes, I'm angry. Yes, I'm frustrated. Yes, I wanna complain and like, but I'm like, but that's not for me to do. That's not for me to do, so here. I'm gonna give you all my spouting. <laughs> I'm gonna give that to you. And I'm gonna trust. I trust where I'm at in my life. I trust what I have to do in my life. I trust you fully, Lord. And so did that. And then I was like, okay, I have some time now before I have to start my day. So I was editing all my um, daily Bible chapter videos. So if you guys want to get some daily Bible chapter reading in, we're reading through God's word. And we do it on Saturday on this channel, um, like just the book of Psalms, but we're reading every day, every day you know what God's Word just isn't for Sunday or the weekend which if that's all you got time for it that's fine but I promise you the more you get closer to him amazing changes amazing peace in your life amazing joy in your life like you can't even comprehend and so I started that channel because I thought how can I help everybody just get in your Bible and read it but not everybody can read some of you have dyslexia some of you say that you it's hard to see you're partially blind sometimes you just can't understand it I'm not an expert but I am a woman who loves the Lord I'm a person that I like believe what God says when you read if he'll show you things he'll help you with things I believe in all of that you don't need to be a, a student of going to some seminary college god's bible is written for every day the everyday person and so started that channel but to help people with their daily life and it's literally reading a chapter a day i'm not telling them what they have to do not, <laughs> it's just sharing the word of god so that was upstairs i've had that on my computer for a few days now and i'm like i want to edit that so i got all of the next books edited so i was very thankful to get that done through the book of matthew so i was like that's good it makes me it helps me as well because i'm reading it and sharing it but i'm also like studying more and i'm going to put together like bible studies for it so when you're done reading you can also do like an in-depth study with a little bit more depth to it and so just things that like that excites me those kind of things because that's like for people's eternity for people's souls to help better people in their lives like yeah it's great to teach you how to frugal shop or discount stop shop or you know do things a little differently or whatever whatever i mean there's hacks for everything there's ways you can do things but in reality like the best thing you could do with your life is get your life on track with the lord and god will give you the grace to do what you do in your life and do it with ease like your life is not meant to be a burden and if you're meant to have 10 kids god will give you the grace to do it but if you have 10 kids and you don't seek the lord it's going to be a struggle it's going to be a struggle going through anything or if you have a job in whatever world whatever study field whatever if you're following the lord he'll help you do that with ease where things are like blessings and things just work out and you just know what to do it's like he gives you the grace to do those things and so for myself, like that's the best thing you could ever do in your life is follow after him. Not just, you know, yeah, I believe in Jesus, not do anything with it. No, like become, submit to him, 
get humility inside of you learn his ways get the heart of Jesus and just follow after him and it's like he'll give you what you need to get done and I know there's tons of you on here that know that and understand that and so my hope and inspiration is for other people to get on board with that because amazing adventure amazing amazing things so with all that said I'm so excited for that channel it's not 140,000 subscribers but you know what I look at it and there's like I think there's 1200 and I'm like that's 1200 people subscribed that like want to know more about God you you God and I'm like that is awesome like that's awesome that's so awesome in my eyes I think that's wonderful so thankful for everybody here but thankful for that as well so I'm just excited I'm excited for those that want to seek after him and like want that change in their life so beautiful thing so I was doing that and then I had to stop and in my head I was thinking oh I have to leave in like I have a half hour I'm like I can go down and do my hair I can get ready before I have to take Brooklyn to work and then Brooklyn sends me a text are you ready to go and I'm like what and I'm like wait a minute I'm like oh that's right it's a half hour drive so I ran downstairs. I'm like, is it a half hour? Do I have like four minutes? She's like, it's 25 minutes. I'm like, okay, let me go do my hair real quick. So I was going to pull it. I was going to leave my hair down today. And I'm like, that's not enough time to do my hair. So I'm like, ponytail it is. I'm like, pull it down, get it ready, grab my cup of coffee, and boom, out the door we went. Dropped her off <laughs> and uh, got her to work. I had to laugh because there's there's two routes out of her area. There's because you have to go over water. The route that goes over water is a school route. You don't want to get on that route in the morning because it's back to traffic. Well, we start driving out in the GPS. I always do GPS because I'm like, that's weird. It's showing not traffic. I'm like, is there no school today? And I'm like, do we chance it? There's literally one chance to get out of there and go the other way. And I'm like, huh, let's just go. Let's just follow the GPS. So we start driving and then all of a sudden you're back online. And then it like <laughs> changed and the red line got in there. And I'm like, no. <laughs> and so I had to laugh and like, that's okay. I said, well, you never know. I said, maybe the Lord was protecting us from an accident happening or who knows why we were supposed to go this way. It made it just a few minutes late, but I was like, okay, but I had to laugh. I'm like, just remember, never go that way. Never go that way. Tr don't trust the GPS. No, you have to turn. So got her to work, came back home. I had one more um, chapter to finish to export. And so I ran upstairs real quick and I just did Matthew 28, got that exported and came downstairs here and I'm ready to start my day. So I have another great busy day today, but I'm okay with that. I'm like, let's get life. Let's keep moving. I've got Jaden is heading out. She's flying back to the mountains today and I also have to get Brooklyn. They're both at the exact time. And so I'm like, okay, I can do this, but I have to make food. I have to get things rolling in the household. So that's where we're going to start right now. So are you guys ready for a great day? I am already started and ready for my day. It's an amazing day. The sun is out. I don't have to do anything after like three o'clock today and I'm going to be home all night. So for me, I'm going in that pool and I'm going to relax. We're going to go for a bike ride tonight. We're going to go in the pool and just chill. Maybe we'll even pour out the fire pit and make some s'mores. Something crazy. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So for now, I got to get picking up here. I'm going to load the dishwasher. We did not load it. That's okay. The kids can load it. Sure they can, but we didn't. And that's the reality of it. They'll do other things today and I'll get it loaded and washed and they can put it away when it's done. So we'll get that moving and then I got to get dinner rolling. Make sure there's something for breakfast and lunch. We're good to go. So are right, you guys ready? I am ready. Let me go get an apron. Great day. Good Thursday. All right, let's go. Dishes are in the dishwasher. I washed those few. Talked to Jane for a minute. We're getting her game plan because <laughs> we're trying to make it and plan it just perfectly. And the drive is crazy. So I think we're going to make it. We're going to go pick up. I was going to leave Brooklyn. She was going to head to Starbucks after work. And then um, I was going to drive Jane and then drive back at Brooklyn. But I'm like, the airport's so tiny. The airport's so small. The SRQ airport is so small. I said smaller than Greenville. I said, remember Greenville? I said, you think it, you know, it's, it's so big. I said, it's way smaller. So I said, I think you'll do good. We'll be able to, it's just, there's, the GPS gives you 20 minutes to 50 minutes. That's the span of traffic. So I'm like, usually they say two hours before, but 
the airport's so tiny you i said we'll literally drop you at the door and then you can go right in security's right there and you can get through so we're gonna make it i think i know we're gonna make it and jane's she's a driver so she knows all the back ways she knows everywhere so i'm like okay we got this so she's like i'm going to get starbucks you want one i'm like yes i would love a starbucks this morning i'm like thank you so i'll be coffeeed up ready to roll so for now i'm gonna wipe this up clean up like i said everything's good i left those out because i need to fill them with oil salt and pepper Hopefully I will today. The cake is still getting eaten. They love the ho-ho cake is a winner. So you know I'm gonna make this week, probably Friday, tomorrow, Twinkie cake. Twinkie cake is, um, we used to make Twinkies out of it, it's delicious. So ho-ho cake's a winner. Twinkie cake's gonna be next. So let's just wipe down and then I'm gonna get stuff out for dinner. Kitchen's wiped off. I'm good. I think there's a few things to pick up on the floor. Oh, you know what? Uh, let me go get that. Well, I'll put it away in a minute. There's a cooler down there that goes in the garage. So let's go this way. Let's go to the garage and find out what we're going to do for dinner. I have an idea, but um, it's so weird coming out here. It's not a thousand years. We have 50,000 bikes in the way. Can I put you way over here? I can do that, right? You can just go way back here. I'm going to go see what we got in the freezer. I think. Um, one is one of my viewers, I can't remember which one, told me to take the stuff off the top. I will. I just have to wait for her because those are heavy. We'll put them up there like we don't even need it. So let me go see what I have. I'm thinking. Let's, let's look. Look at this thing right here. Oh my goodness. Look at this bug. It's dead. Is that a palmetto bug? Oh my goodness. Is that? I don't know, um, he's dead, he's dead. We have, you know, bug spray and stuff in here, but I'm like, he just literally died in the middle of the floor, but I'm like, is that one of those disgusting palmetto bugs? We're gonna throw him on the floor, we'll sleep him out later. Um, bug spray, that's what we use. The, what is it, the ortho? Ortho, like those, exp I don't know. When we moved here, I probably had 10 people show up at my door to offer their services for bug spray. I get it, you don't wanna do it. Mountains, same way, and people are like, just get your house sprayed, and I'm like, we started doing it, and there's a lot of spiders. There's a lot of bugs, way more bugs in the mountains than here. So we um, we never had it, and we always just bought the ortho. I think it was ortho, yeah, ortho. I'm drawing the name or so here, ortho, and just we'd buy. I'd buy a couple gallons. It's like I don't know, fifteen dollars for the big one. So you spend thirty bucks a month, and we'd spray our entire house down. We go all around the base, all of that. And we have a lot of wildlife there, trust me. And we just, in the summer, we did every month. And so um, then after that, like through this other season, it was like every couple months. That kept down on, like we had some things in the basement, but not like crazy amount just because it's on the bottom floor. But we knew when we started seeing things, it's like, oh, time to spray. And so um, here, people said they're so bad here. And we have lizards. Lizards, they've made their way just to the front, I see. And they're in the back a little bit, not as much as in the front. I'm like, go ahead, live in your little habitat up there. And, but like, we don't really have anything else. I saw one of those, this, I don't know if it was a, I don't know what it was. It must have been one of those. But who knows, one time. That's it. We had the tiny little ants. They're almost like sugar ants. We got the little ant things. We had those a lot when we moved in here. And I'm like, wow. It seems like we moved in and like it disrupted the, the bug colony. And um, we had for like a little bit, like I remember, <laughs> we had a lizard. I remember looking up in the bathroom and seeing one crawl on the ceiling. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> And then there's one in the kitchen, you know, all those things. But they've, they've since gone out. I'm like, okay, that's a good thing. And I learned they're, they're your friends, not your foes. But like the other things, we're not noticing anything like that. Not even spiders or anything. So I thought that's a good thing. So we just spray. We spray with our ortho. I just needed, I need to do it again. I really, used to write in my calendar every month. I'm like, I need to put that down. So we have a ton of it. We got it at Sam's when it was on clearance. And we just go through and spray everything that seems to take care of everything. So save your money at first. Like I know, especially moving in, there was a, like, I thought there was more stuff. And I'm like, oh, but I think it's just getting everybody else's stuff out. Get your own in there and spray. Take care of it. So that's a good thing. All right. You know what I found? I'm using meatballs, corn, and bread. You know what we're having tonight? Spaghetti and meatballs. Yes, we're having something easy because... It's either that, because you know what the the average person does, and I know they do, because there's plenty and plenty of truths of that. You know what people do? They go out to dinner. They go out to eat. <laughs> so, instead of going out to dinner, we're gonna make dinner in the slow cooker and have that tonight, and it's meatballs, and it's gonna be not homemade sauce. I'm gonna use jar sauce, and I'm completely fine with that. And you know what? It'll be fine. 
we'll be fine. It's better than eating out because that's what I, most people go out to eat, what, once or twice a week? It used to be once a week everybody ate out, but I know it's more nowadays. So we're gonna eat this tonight. So let me go in and get the rest of the stuff. So for the spaghetti, I'll be able to get back today and I'll turn that on and we'll just cook our pasta before we get home. But for the rest, I'm just gonna put it in here. And I'm looking, I was looking in my refrigerator. I took out, I was in my refrigerator and I took out lasagna from my freezer um, yesterday. So that I was going through and trying to think, what am I gonna make for Gather Your Fragment Friday for the weekend? Last weekend I didn't do anything and that was okay. And so I remember there's lasagna in there. So I'm like, that's perfect. Cause I only had two meals planned out. I'm like, what can I make for the third one? We'll do lasagna. Cause that'll use up that freezer meal, which is good. So I'm just gonna put this in here. I'm gonna use half of this. And just to make it a smaller batch. And we're gonna turn it, I'm gonna put some spices in here. I think one of my viewers wanted me to. She said, at least take it out and crush the, the, the spices between your hands to activate them or whatever she said. So I'll, I'll, I'll activate them. So we're going to put that in there. I'll put them in my hand and the Italian seasoning, we're going to activate it. And then I have a little bit of garlic, parsley. We'll put that in there and we'll activate that. That's perfect. There we go. Zach, that's good. <laughs> It'll be good to do. Okay, so that is gonna cook. Those don't need to brown or anything. You know what we're gonna use? Jar sauce. You know why they make this jar sauce? For days like today. And you can make your own, go right ahead. I, it's been a long time since I would buy this. Usually, almost always, I get, um, rinse it up, tomato sauce and make my own. We would freeze the rest of it. Just whatever, whatever you wanna do. Here, the tomato sauce I have to order, it's not at my Sam's Club. Everything is, uh, a little different so I bought this for ease this month and I'm glad I did because today's an easy day so spaghetti this is a quick easy meal you can make for your family and if you want to cook the hamburger go ahead my kids and friends like the meatballs so we'll do meatballs today is a meatball day and this works I, I have to if I already guess if I were to do a study of most of America most people would make it like this just by putting it in there <laughs> So that's good. I actually got a jar of canned tomatoes up too, and then we're gonna have corn. I got big potatoes. I'm gonna put in there. I might have to get another. I might have to get my bigger one. Let's get all in there. Oh, there, okay, right? It'll freeze down. There we go. Um, I did get a can. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add this again. That's how you soup up your canned sauce. Add a can of diced tomatoes. There you go. Let me get my spoon. That is a way to kind of liven up the store-bought stuff. You can buy a lot of store stuff, like store soups and um, store packets of food, and just kind of add a few things to them and spice them up. It's, there's ways to get around everything where you can add a little bit to it. So I added the diced tomatoes. That's good. This is just going to sit right here. I'm going to put away my meatballs, and then I've got some bread out. It's frozen, so I'll have to wait till it thaws. These I got on clearance for a dollar. We can have bread and butter. I've got the spreadable butter, so later I will um, put some of that on there, and then we've got Parmesan cheese, and we've got garlic powder. I'll put that in there. So let me put my mess away here, put the stuff in the freezer, and make sure I got some for breakfast and lunch. A little look in my refrigerator, and I had the, the marinara sauce. Can we use that for soup dipping today? That is good. So there we go. We used up one more little container. Put that in the dishwasher real quick. Laundry floor. again I'm like such a beautiful sunny day very thankful for the good weather okay I'm gonna put that rug outside I'm gonna do a quick pick up the floor it's mostly shoes mine and everybody else's <laughs> So now I've got breakfast all taken care of. I went out in the garage and grabbed the milk. There's milk in here. They can have cereal and there's fruit to have with it. Lunch, I've got some hard boiled eggs and king chicken. I'm gonna do a chicken salad and egg salad. Very simple. 
nothing fancy but food for the belly. They can also make peanut butter and jelly, but I do have these eggs when we had our salad yesterday. So I'm like, well, when I make this up, this will be good. And if there's any left over for the weekend, awesome. And if not, then that's okay too. We can make other things. It's like you go through different phases and seasons in life, I think. We had a lot of peanut butter and jelly. Oh, I just dropped all that on the floor. Hold on. Where's Maxine? She's sleeping. <laughs> so you just go through different seasons. I think when we left the mountains, I found strawberry jam really cheap at the discount store. So I bought a bunch of it, but I'm like, we haven't been eating peanut butter and jelly like at all. So one of those things you're like, okay, you do different seasons. That's all you can do. Okay, so this is going to be miracle right here. I do have another container of this. And we just like salt and pepper. I like mine with a whole bunch of different stuff, but kids do not. They are um, very simple. This is not nothing deviating. I got salt I got to add to this here. This is all. Oh, my salt thing was empty. Fill that up. Cakes up. There we go. Perfect. So I'm going to add just some salt and some pepper. Now I was able to fill these up because this was something that I had sitting out to do. So now these are full. I'll put these back over here. And then let me just, my fork's all the way over there. This fork is clean. It was with our stuff yesterday. So I'm just going to mix this up. Easy, easy go to lunches. This everybody can be fed. Easy lunch. And like I said, and there's always stuff kids can grab. There's always like little, they can make little charcuterie boards. There's nuts and stuff and peanut butter packets. And there's just a lot of different stuff. But this will ensure that this doesn't go to waste and it gets used up. That's usually my goal. Not always. Sometimes it's whatever. Just eat ramen, whatever you can do. But this will be nice little sandwich stuff. So I'm going to put a these containers here. Perfect. I'm going to be using this. Up. Okay, perfect. Then the next one is going to be chicken salad. Now again, the canned chicken, you can do it the frozen chicken meat. They just like the canned chicken. It's easy. It tastes good. There's nothing wrong with that. I always find like that's so expensive. Just make it and cook it yourself. But sometimes canned chicken is good. It's good to have on hand for quick sandwiches. So you used to do tuna fish for a little bit, but not um, a ton. Some kids like it, not everybody does. And I don't usually get tuna fish because it's not, it's one of those things that just doesn't always get eaten. Okay, we're gonna add some pepper and some salt. And then they just like salt and pepper and just gonna mix this up. This is good right here. Easy, I'll put in a container and we'll have this for lunch. So. All right, easy container. That's food right here. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Jane is here. Get up, You're here. And I brought you coffee. Look at Jane, did she's awesome. So okay, I, it should be the pineapple. The, the pineapple. 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 Pumpkin. The pumpkin spice you like. This is so good. Is this not pretty? Look at that. That's a girl that wants her mom to drive her to the airport. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> exactly. Because you're cheaper than an Uber. <laughs> And she can also just drive herself to the airport. She has a car. So Jane's flying out today. I Super know. excited. So excited. She's going to go back to the mountains for a little bit here and enjoy some time with family mm -hmm. and friends and just enjoy it. You've been super busy. Oh my gosh. No one has seen you. They haven't really seen the kids, but they really haven't seen you either. So you yeah. kind of just disappeared. I mean, I don't even see her. She comes in at night and I'm like, oh, no, you know what I get? You know what I get? This is what I'm getting oh, lately. Oh. <laughs> she's, she sends me a picture and she's got Maxine in her car with her. I said, you know, she has a car seat. And she's like, the dog has a car seat. I said, she does. So <laughs> yesterday she got Maxine, put her in her little car seat and took her out. Yeah. <laughs> so that was very yep. sweet. <laughs> it was cute. I was like, that's too funny. So she's been, yeah, sending pictures. That's how we catch up with Jane. But she's busy with life and work and everything else. So doing yeah. good. Be an adult. Yeah, being an adult. Adulting. I know, yeah, the people that watch from my channel, I haven't posted one in like four months. Yeah, so she's, been, she's so busy <laughs> with life and everything else. I'm like, that's what happens when you get older, you just go do your yep. own thing. So mm -hmm. it's good, but she's living life, doing good, looking yep. beautiful, hair's all curled, looking yes. good. She's looking good. So we're just, good things. We got to do anything today? Just chilling. 
I have some work that I have to do on my computer before I leave. Okay, and then you'll be able to go. then I'm good to go. That's right. Be a responsible adult so you can go on vacation. I'm like, all those good things. Yes. <laughs> it's a good thing. So, mm -hmm. all right, I'm going to put this in a container. She's going to go to her stuff, and then we'll be leaving a little bit here, too, won't we? Ooh, it's going to yeah. be fun. <laughs> we'll talk in the car, too. So, okay. Put the chicken in the container. <laughs> So I make Greg's lunch, I got to put it all away. And then what I was doing, I'm like, I have a little bit of time, I have about an hour before I have to leave and do my run. So I've got a pet Greg's lunch, lunch is ready for the kids, breakfast is there, dinner will be done when I get home. So then um, Jaden's up there, kids are moving, getting their stuff done, they get all their independent stuff done, they'll have breakfast, all those good things. What I'm gonna do now is fill up my car with some stuff that I haven't had in there in a long time. <laughs> I used to, in the mountains, I would always kind of keep a supply of stuff in my car. We moved here, it's just so hot, it is so hot, and I'm like, you can't keep anything in here, it melts. And so I just, but like we went the other day to the beach and then I'm like, oh, I wish I had some towels to wipe our feet off with, or I wish I had this or somebody forgot their water. I'm like, oh, I wish I would've had water in here. I know not keeping water in there all the time is gonna be good because it gets so hot, but just to have something I think is better than nothing. So I just went in my room, grabbed a bag full of stuff. I'm gonna go, let's go to my car, pack it and fill it with a few things. Cause there are some things it's good to keep in there. I can't always keep everything. I'm not gonna keep food cause kids are old enough to take food with them and they usually always take their water with them to um have something to drink that's kind of like a staple like you go out you take your drink just a known fact in florida and so but just getting the towels in there i had an umbrella inside just little things i got some wipes things like that to put in the car so when i've been drinking my water here it's hold like jayness i gotta drink this first before i start my starbucks so i can get water in first for the day so i'll drink this and let's go out to the car okay as so i just brought all my stuff outside here we've got some wipes We've got some water bottles. We've got some women products. We've got sunscreen. I'll keep that in the back. We've got some more hand cleaners here. Is that it right here? So number one, hand cleaner. I guess I might need to have to get some more here. We'll just put a new bottle in here. So this I like to keep in here. I like to keep an umbrella. I don't think we've... Yeah, actually we did use this one time. We had an umbrella. One time here. This I kept for mix. I guess that's a full water, isn't it? It's not even open. I'll put this in the trunk for mixing. And then um, in my little storage thing here, it's gum. I have a tape measure. I'm not sure why. There is an umbrella in there as well. I guess I can just put the umbrella in here. And then we have, you know what we never have to use is motion sickness pills never have to use it anymore and I want to put some Lysol wipes in here so you know sometimes when you're you know, in time you can wipe things off or if it gets dirty I have cups in here I have a big plates in here and then um put some girl stuff in here because we could use that we've got our plugs and sprays perfect and then wipes just wipes like baby wipes work good in cars so that you can you know wipe kids hands off if you need to or something gets spilled so that's it I really don't put anything else in here because it is so hot I'm just looking at my hand cleaners I probably have to go get some more hand cleaners these are like all gone so let me run in and go grab a couple more of those and we will exchange them okay hand cleaner something we use all the time so I've got a new container sometimes I just refill but sometimes it's good just to put them in and refill the containers but sometimes after a while it's good to replace it I'm gonna have a weird lid here 
sometimes those lids get stuck. We can just trade out the lid. This is good. Hand, we've been using hand cleaner since hand cleaner. Before hand cleaner was a thing. I laughed. I'm like, the first we had, we had a big, big old van. It was one of those things. When the kids were little, we had a bottle of this, but I had a big giant one right in the council. <laughs> and so every time everybody came in, the first person would take the, the hand cleaner and think, hand cleaner, hand cleaner. And then they'd all follow suit back to their seats. So <laughs> just things you do when you have a large family. Okay, that's good there. Let's go. Let's go back here. I guess that's all we're going to keep in our car here. Let's go right here. So every row has some hand sanitizer here. The back one does too. So I'll probably like fill them up. Then they're full, but you know, hand cleaning does get where it wants to explode sometimes. So you just got to be a little careful. So just fill up the hand cleaner right here and you can just wait till they go empty and just put a new bottle either way. There's all these birds in front of my yard, I think. I'm not sure what kind they are. I can hear Maxine barking away in the house. They're like, how should I show you? Let me show you the birds. There are these, we have ones there, some kind of crane, I think. And they're tall and huge, and there's three of them. And they literally just go from neighbor to neighbor. I'm like, oh, that coming to your yard is crazy. So there's, let me show you the white ones here. Oh, look at them right there. They literally just go and eat everything off. Eat the bugs and stuff. And then I guess this person will get a new one. Put a new one right here. Okay, let's go to the other side. This bottle's kind of yucky, so I will probably replace this bottle with a newer bottle. Even though this lid does not work, we throw that down. The hand cleaner in here. There we go. It works. Number one hand cleaner, they were like, it was all watery. We couldn't find one that was decent. <laughs> now, oops, drop that. Okay, I think that's gonna be it. I think I'm pretty much down to the bottom of these, which is, let's see, I'm just gonna make it a pile on the ground out here. Perfect. Okay, so then this one is full. Everybody's got full hand cleaners. And then we need one right here. This one's kind of old and yucky. This one's kind of exploding. You can feel the pressure on it. Brand new. Okay, let me pour. Let me pour a little bit of this in here. And we'll have our hand cleaners full at least. Perfect. I find it's best everybody has their own. Because what happens is it gets passed to the back seat and then it's like, where's the hand cleaner? It's like, no, everybody should have your own hand cleaner. So each door has their own bottle right here. Perfect, we have a vomit bag. We haven't had to use it here. I do like to keep it in here just in case. So let's go to the trunk. I'm gonna do, this is my bag in here. I just threw everything in it. Let me get out what I got in here. So in here, oh, there's another one cleaner. Okay, so we don't need that. I'm gonna keep in my bag here. I have got towels. So that's something we do use because if we do stop at a beach, it's like, oh, there's towels. Usually if we're gonna go to the beach, we do take sunscreen with us. Rare that we don't, but I will put this, I'll put it in the outer pocket. It's one of those things like, is it gonna explode? I hope not. And then this is our, um, this is like just a picnic blanket. One from Timu, I usually, we have a couple of them that we take with us. I'll just keep this one in here. We'll know it's here. And then I'll probably just stack, let me stack these in. I'll put the water bottles in here, just stand them up. Instead of rolling all around the car, you always think like, are they gonna explode? If it does, it's just water. So I'm gonna think I'm just gonna keep this in here. It's one of those things like, can it just fit over here? I put too smush for, that could be good. That can kind of stay on the side, that work? Okay, good. So we have an emergency stash in our car. That's something I wanted to keep in here. Cause like the other day I was like, we don't even have towels or anything to wipe in here. And somebody needed to wipe. I'm like, I don't even have wipes in here. So perfect. Okay, well let's go back in. The next thing she's like, she sees those birds across the street. So she's just staring, she's like, mommy, <laughs> you're leaving me inside. She's my watcher. Now in my purse, I do keep the other important things like band-aids and um, medicines, that kind of stuff, and even Kleenexes and stuff like that. So I don't, I'm trying to think of anything else that's in here. So things that I guess you would keep it in your car, pens and papers, that kind of stuff. So I usually always keep that in my purse. I usually always have my purse with me. So I went back to, this is always like, I like my brown one. That's like my staple one, I feel like. It's always a favorite, and then I got the navy one. I like that one, it's a little bit smaller. We got an orange one when we were here, and I have a pink one, which is a lot bigger, but I still always go back to this size one. This is always a nice size bag, so. All right, so what I'm gonna do is get some school, our group stuff done right now before I head out the door, because I have a little bit of time before we have to actually leave. 
and then I can get that part done in my day. So when I do get back, I can check over the stuff that they did and finish up dinner and finish up my day. I'd like to get my Christmas stuff. Let's hope we'll get to that today. I have like a pile in my room up there. I'd love to go up there and kind of see what else I have just for ideas. So maybe next week we can head to like Hobby Lobby and do like a Hobby Lobby um, shopping trip, which would be really nice. So we'll see. So I'll see you in a little bit, probably next time we head out the door. Okay, I made it to the car with Jaden. Jaden. So we are headed out to pick up Brooklyn actually first, and then we're gonna make it on time. Yes, on time. To the airport, because it shows 20 minutes to 55 minutes. I'm like, how's the 35 minutes extra time? But yeah, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. So you're gonna you're gonna go back to the mountains and see like one car. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I was, I was thinking about that because I was um, driving, I was out at like 5.30 in the morning, yeah. uh, Wednesday, and um, I was watching, I was sitting at a Starbucks having a bagel, okay, and I was watching the cars drive by, and I was like, huh, it's as busy as it normally gets, like in, in North Carolina, it's as busy as it, like it's busiest time, say like rush hour in North yeah. Carolina, is that busy at 6 30 in the morning in florida in florida yeah, north carolina okay yeah, yeah in florida yeah, and i was like this is ridiculous <laughs> like i'm trying to it's not even the sun's not even up all the way yeah, yet it's so busy. and it's so busy so you're gonna go and be like wow there's like, like no oh car. my gosh it's so slow here i it's love it it's so slow babe. it's definitely a different vibe drive but you get different life here yeah true different life definitely different life true. that you wouldn't have not had in the mountains that's so true so yeah it's it's a yeah. it's got you just tolerate the traffic and it's fine it's good he's gonna, he's gotta go 25 to 55 minutes i'm like what and i like google it i'm like oh we can make it on time and i'm like i'm like you know what i should change it to the time we're actually driving and i was like oh it's like 55 that's yeah. crazy but we're gonna make yeah. it we're gonna trust that we're gonna make it so we can uh be good so mm -hmm. we're gonna go ahead and go out uh, those, those birds go flying okay we're gonna go get brooklyn and then take jane and drop her off whoop, 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 yay. Yay. in the car jane and i are comparing notes of how to get there to the airport i'm like mine shows this way and it's only 25 minutes she's like no let me take you this one then what were you saying jane you're like from this stretch okay. of highway this is where the most accidents will occur it is but because it's a the four construction to, it's four to five lanes so technically only one or two will be down and you have two more to go it's true. I'm like, do people ever sit there and like decide, hmm, which one's gonna have the most less accident? I do. Because there's the thing, I am driving these roads like All the literally time. every single day at different times, at same times, like in the mornings, during rush hour, right. during five o'clock, five thirty, like rush hour. So like I know when the accidents happen because I'm sitting there just there for right, an hour. Right, right. Like literally I was coming home from work the other day, um, and I work like what? I wanna say like on a good day, and I say that at like 5.30 in the morning, on a good day, I can get there for 17 minutes. It takes me 17 minutes to get there. Yeah, that's great, yeah. But when I, when I go, <laughs> when I go day, home on a bad five, day, we sleep in for five extra literally, minutes. Literally, it took me an hour. I believe it. An hour. I believe it. It was ridiculous. There were three accidents on this one bit of highway that I avoid now okay. because of how many accidents happen specifically. Yeah, that's crazy. So that's why I know. <laughs> People drive very, very quick here. I mean, they drive reckless, they recklessly. recklessly. They don't use their, like, I, there's no, I'm not a judgment, because I was like, use your blinker all the time here, mom. She goes, you never really did in the mountains. I said, that's because there's nobody on the road. But yeah. it, like, in our, you, I mean, I did when obviously there's traffic, right. but mountains, but now, like in our little town, I mean, the girls yeah. were driving, they're like, mom, no blinker. I'm like, there's nobody within anywhere. I'm like, why would I turn my blinker on? So, but they would always pick at me for that. And they're, I'm we like, would, it was funny. But I'm like, no, yeah, oh yeah, you definitely use it all the time now because yeah. you have to, because people just swerve in and out all the Seriously. time, every which way. And I'm like, I'm like, just use your blinker. Yeah. So, but oh it's it all good. So it, it, I told my girls, I said, you guys learn to drive in the mountains. Yes. And so you so you know the twisty turn ain't crazy. She knows how to back up on a big giant mountain. Could do a trailer if you yeah. wanted to, probably. I really could. <laughs> on a steep incline of a mountain. Yeah, seriously. I learned how to do like a three point turn on yeah. our mountain and yeah. I can still do that. Yeah, so she can do that. I said, now you can drive with the most insane traffic yeah. ever. Seriously. Because there's sometimes, what is over at the UTC malls? It's 12 lanes across. Um, what do you turn? Oh, oh, like all the way across both sides. In total. Is it 16? I feel like it's eight and eight. I think it is eight and eight too. I think we counted yeah. when we were first here and I was like, yeah. is that 16 lanes it's across literally. the road? It's literally 16 lanes across it's the road. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Yeah. But there's just so many people here, which we're here too, so. And you kind of learn how to like drive, I guess very defensively. Right. You know, cause you have to be, cause like I, like a fun story. I had somebody, so we were on this two lane and they, I guess they couldn't get around me from the left side. So they <laughs> oh. went into a turning lane, like they were turning. I was watching because I'm making sure, you know, that I'm not gonna get hit or anything right. by people around me. And they decide to go in front of me in this turn lane and cut me off. 
<laughs> and I was like, what in the world? They don't didn't yeah. use their blanket or yeah. anything. Was in the turn lane, and I was yeah. just like, what? And that happens yeah. literally. A, and, and, a and don't place. ever stop at the stoplight and not immediately go when it's oh, yeah. green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hog, you're like laying the people. They don't even give you seconds. So you're like, go. I'm like, so sorry. I think. And then so yesterday I was driving. There's a lady. She had her her Florida ponytail bun on, and she was laying back with her tan on. She had her AirPod, AirPods on, oh, yeah. holding her phone like this, and she's just driving. Like she looked like she was gonna fall asleep. And I'm like, and her car wasn't like a self moving car. Right. Tesla was definitely yeah. an older car. But I had to laugh. I'm like, yeah, yeah that's what happens here. <laughs> Yep. It's, it's just what everybody's on the phone all the time. Everybody's like literally like right it's here. It's very so. interesting. I but think it's, that's why we have a lot of accidents. That's probably it. I'm like, how can we get attentiveness and then people go in like 90 in yeah. a 60. Oh yeah, very fast. So it's yeah. just, it's that's fun. Crazy. But it's so, so we're going to trust Jane. So we'll see if we get there. We, we'll get there in time. I'm like, it's going to be quick, I promise. But I had to laugh though. I'm like, yeah. okay, let's go to the likelihood where there's less accidents, there's less this, but. Less like, people, so less like, traffic, the side roads that I take. I'm like whatever, it's all good. So much fun. So it's going to be great. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's our conversation about drive. Now, yes. next we'll drop you off and yes. you'll be good. Brooklyn's almost done. We're waiting for her and mm -hmm. good day. Sun is out. It's just good. You're going to go back to be freezing. Literally, it's going to be, it's, it's I think the 60? highest 65 today. Nice. And I'm in like a t-shirt. Yeah. And it's like, a, it's a little chilly. Yeah. yeah. It'll be fine. I'll get in there and be like, oh my gosh, where's my 90 degree weather? <laughs> no, where's the sun? <laughs> yeah, let's see if Jane comes back and goes, oh, I long for the hot sunshine. <laughs> but I'm excited to drink their water. Yes, I mountain love water. Is, mountain water. See, you like mountain water. Okay, see, I love it. I like our our water at our house. Really? Okay, like it's it's fine, but in such a weird way, it doesn't fully like satisfy your thirst. Okay, that's what she was saying for yeah. me. And I was, yeah. I just. I but see, I grew up water. with city water, and I really right. like like my parents' water is real airy and bubbly. I yeah. think, but yes, I got used to it because we used um, mm -hmm. country well water for years, right. and I did learn to like it. But yeah. I still want to go with my parents. I'm like, oh, your water is so great. So maybe yeah. me, I like that. But they and mountain water is. I mean, mountain water. Love the mountain water. It is good mountain water. You can't get. It. I remember we went back to Michigan and we had mountain like Michigan water. We're like, oh my gosh, you're like this tastes like sewer water. Literally. I'm like, it's not sewer water. <laughs> I promise you, it's coming. From the and that was bottled water. Yeah, <laughs> just oh different. Goodness. So, yeah. but yeah, so it'll be the mountain. You like the mountain water. So ready for it. Have some mountain water. If for anything, I'm excited to drink water. <laughs> Jane's excited to drink the mountains and all the change. Oh, the oh leaves goodness. will be beautiful because it's October. Yes. Almost November. It's crazy. So it's it'll be so perfect nice. leaf season for her yeah. to go see everything. So bring me back a maple leaf or something. I told her, I'm like, you want to take a palm branch with you? <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, TSA will probably be like, no, no you can't take you can't that take with you in your carry with you. So that's okay. <laughs> It's all good. So, yeah. okay. It'll be fun. It'll be so fun. Have fun, Jane. <laughs> okay, Brooklyn's coming. We're going. Hey, Jaden. Have Bye. a fun time. We'll see you in a little bit. I'll see you all in a bit. Bye. Okay, we are home now. I left Brooklyn's walk around. She, like, stopped. And I'm like, what are you stopping for? And there's, like, a lizard just literally staring at her on the ground. So, so fun. Okay, we got a little... I love going different directions because it took us a whole different way. So, now we're home. And I'm like, she's like, what are we doing today? I said, nothing. We don't have to do anything more. So, I'm like... How nice, because we spent a lot of running. So I said, I look forward to, I'm going to go in and um, do just a few things in the house. And then like nothing, probably sit and relax. Wouldn't that be something? And then finish up dinner. <laughs> it's never sit and relax. Finish up dinner. We're going to do bike ride tonight. We're going to go for the pool tonight. So I'll probably go out and turn the pool filter on because it needs to, there's leaves in it. I saw the leaves in there. My vacuums are still in there from a couple days ago. So I need to go in there and uh, turn the bottom filter on so it gets the leaves and stuff that are on the bottom of the pool because uh, they all fell down after I vacuumed it. So let's go ahead and okay, the pool has got like a lot of leaves on the bottom here. So I'm going to go and it's feeling the heater's been off. It was on yesterday. It's a little chilly. So I'm going to go over and turn that on. We don't have it on a timer. We just need to do that. It's just not on one yet. So if we just turn it on, there we go. And I'm going to turn this on the bottom drain because there's a lot of leaves so I can kind of get cleaned up there. Perfect. Great sunny day. It feels awesome. So what I'm going to do, oh, I was like, I hear music. I'm going to go inside. Let's go upstairs. I'm going to get out um, my Christmas stuff and kind of see what I have just because I was talking to the girls. I'm like, let me go through and see what I have and then um, we'll go shopping. Maybe next week we'll do Hobby Lobby. We have to see. So we got to get groceries as well. So I just want to kind of see what I have so I have an idea for when I do go shopping. Okay, we are home now. I need some Little munchy. This is the rest of my. That was pretty good salad with the. It's just different. There was really nothing to it, but it was delicious. I put some everything bagels seasoning on there. I got cucumbers. I grabbed some mixed nuts. Hold on. Okay, started filming and then uh, took a phone call. So, 
got distracted with that. So I got to eat. I had my leftover um, chickpea salad. That was pretty good. Had some cucumbers with hummus and I put some everything bagel seasoning in there and then um, just a few nuts in there. So it was good. Had a little snack. Now I'm like, okay, let me finish up my day today. Cause today we're going to have a very chill um, afternoon, very chill afternoon. We had to do, Greg um, had to fix Maddie's bike. There was something wrong with her bike though. I guess, I don't know, something was loose on it. Well, anyways, fix that for us and then we got a new e-bike and so we just um, took that for a ride around the neighborhood, make sure it rides good. So we'll get to ride that tonight. The kids will be excited for that. So I got out my Christmas stuff, okay, and realized <laughs> I have nothing. I think my girlfriend has all my Christmas stuff. So when I'm, <laughs> I was like, I was like, hmm, I guess I didn't keep a whole lot because it's like one of those things where you're like, it's gonna be a whole new house and it really is and it's gonna have whole new different decorations whole, and there's no sense dragging it all here just to get rid of it. So passed along and um, one of my friends will have everything. So I've got, I did, I have like my hot cocoa tray. So I have that, like the tear thing. And then I did save my nativity. So I was glad for that. I'm like, okay, I didn't get rid of my nativity set. So that is in this box. I'm like, I do have that. So that was good to find. And then um, for decorations. So we got, we ended up getting these, right? You saw these. So these are cute. I think that kind of turquoise, 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 <laughs> turquoise color with the silver will be nice so these we got and then we got this and this lights up so this will be pretty you saw my garland i like that garland very oh, hold on one second very simple just simple garland so this is going to be really good so i'm going to definitely oh goodness garland this will be i don't want to lose anything that lights up too which is great so this will be nice and then I bought these as well. So they light up too. I saw these at the check and I'm like, those would be pretty. So I got two of these um, little tree things. So I'm like, that'll be nice. I think I had some burlap ones in the mountains. It had the burlap with the tree. And I really like that on my table. But I'm like, these would be cute because they plug in. So I got these. And then um, we picked up some of these for my little, like, because I'm thinking about what do I specifically have to decorate? So I have those little glass um, mason jars next to my mirror downstairs. So I thought that would be good. And so I got another one of that. And then I was looking at my glass and I'm like, what would I even keep? So I kept my big giant tall trees here because those I had on my mantle. And I had like these that we had on our mantle. But I'm like, I'm going to try to get away from the red stuff. No big deal. That's what my tree was last year, all red. So we kept that. So I think I probably will not be using these, but I'm like, it just just a different look it's just a different christmas theme looks like probably i might we'll see i have them i kept some this stuff i think i just kept these these are the ones i kept because i love birch trees i like birch trees i grew up with birch tree and i like it i kept my little nativity i thought i would keep one little thing here and i got these i think i got these at um aldi didn't i get these at aldi that and then i have my box of stuff i didn't know how we do our tree obviously we're not gonna do our tree like we did in the mountains but i'm like i just i like our tree so i didn't know what to keep so i did keep it's all the pine cones so maybe we'll use those i did keep my berries i like these berries these tiny ones so these are always my favorite but we're not going to do this we're going to do something different and i kept most of the um i kept this little thing and i have my ceramic you know the ceramic green tree with the lights that pull off i got one of those because i got it from our first mary and then i kept a few of our um like i have like some white ornaments like this there wasn't very many all my gingerbread these are going to be all still very cinnamony this is from years ago so we have like some of those on there so this stuff will probably not be very existent i have my white base to go around the bottom like a barn thing so i'm like okay there's not a ton of stuff in there but oh i got my my michigan Rick's mom made this a hug from michigan isn't that cute so the, basically we're going with nothing. So I don't really have anything, which is a good thing. So I told, I was talking to Brooklyn, I'm like, we'll have to go to, we're gonna do a Hobby Lobby. Maybe I'll have to see next week how it goes. I have to take my car in to get um, some things done just to check out because it's new. And we're gonna have to get groceries. So I'll just see how things happen. But I'm like, it's good to know we really don't have a lot. So everything we get, it'll be like intentional. Like I know, all right, I basically have a table to decorate my dining room table. I have the shelves by the TV. I have next in my kitchen. And, um, and upstairs we just have the TV, but most of the time it's got the kids' videos on it and everything else. There's not a lot of extra room. It would be like bathrooms. And like, I didn't even, I don't even have bathrooms decorated at all right now. <laughs> so 
it's like those kind of things. And then outside, I like to do something outside. I even bought the rug at Sam's Club. And it's got so much red writing, I think I'm gonna return that too. So we'll take that one back, get something different. It's okay. I'm like, it's more like, oh, I see it and I get it now. I'm like, okay, I have to be intentional with what we're gonna use, what we're gonna do for decorations. But it's good to know I really have nothing, which is, hey, that works. Now I can go shop and go, oh, I need this or I need that. So now I'll look for things to put on my table a little bit more, a um, couple things for our TV like to decorate with. And then I want to do a shelf behind my couch and so maybe something up there. So, But Hobby Lobby has a lot of that stuff. So I can't wait to go to Hobby Lobby and look as well. Home Goods is good, but you know, it's like you're used to one thing. So it's like, okay, I'd like to go look and see what the other options are. And there's a huge Home Goods store we just drove by at the UTC mall. So I'm like, hmm, maybe we can go there and look at that one because it'd be a whole lot bigger. So options but the, it's good to know i really have nothing nothing absolutely nothing <laughs> so i'm like okay i kept like the light post and that was it but i think most of my stuff was like greenery and things like that i had a lot of greenery um, and then we had like a lot of just different signs things like that but it's like i knew it was going to be different here and i knew we would decorate different so i'm just going to set these in here carefully it's real careful i'm going to see oh at home Okay, so I'm just gonna put these right back in here. It's not gonna get moved anymore, so it's okay if it uh, it's just set in here. Can we just leave all the decorations in your office until Christmas, Amy? We could do that. And it's like nobody goes in here, but you guys. These, I always love these chairs. I got these at Hobby Lobby. But it's like, I don't know, will I use these? I don't know, maybe on the floor of my living room by the TV? Or maybe even on there, I don't know. Again, we're just gonna have to see. I should plug these in and make sure these light up. Let me do that. I had to laugh, even someone brought a pair of gloves. I kept a pair of my own, like I bought some last year at TJ Maxx and paid a little bit more for like the real soft ones because I get freezing and I know I'll get cold. So I do have those. So this is it, I'm done with no Christmas decoration. Not very much Christmas decoration. So I will just, I'm probably just gonna keep this in here. Either that or try to stack it in here nice and neat. Like I said, who comes in here? Just you guys, right? I already took, I just stuck all our equipment over here. It's like, you do what you can do. What I'm gonna do now is take this footage off here and put it in my computer, see where I'm at for footage. I still gotta go down and boil water for pasta, the corn and the bread, this dinner, and then we're gonna relax today. We're gonna relax, relax, I can relax, we can do that. <laughs> So I was doing dinner here, Brooklyn was watching TV, so I didn't want to disturb her. So I thought, um, this I put in the oven, I have to learn my oven. <laughs> I always forget, like it was on low and it was taking a little bit of time and I'm like, hurry up. So I turn on high and then yeah, burn the corners. So I got some burn, I'll save that piece. I like crispy. I put Parmesan cheese on here and some garlic, um, I think it was just garlic, parm or not Parmesan, garlic parsley. Brooklyn likes it in her eggs. And then our corn is here. Our sauce is done and I'm just boiling the noodles here. They're almost ready to go. I did like a package and a half, trying to see how many to do. And I think that's going to be it. I was going through comments some days. I'm not able to get to my comments all the time. I try to go through and monitor them because, you know, people. But um, I just went through and did some of those now. And I think it's like 4.30, so we're going to finish up. I'm going to finish and close today's video because it's a long video. I didn't realize. I'm like, wow, that was a long... For the day that I think I'm going to have nothing, it was a long video. So what I'm going to do is we are going to eat dinner together, sit down and eat, and then we are going to get on our bikes and go ride. And we got the new e-bike. So I rode with Greg and was riding around the neighborhood and I'm like, that is so awesome. So I know the kids are gonna wanna ride it. I'm like, I'm laughing because we, <laughs> I told him, I said, I ride these kids' bikes and we'll go ride around and I'm like, oh my goodness, my thighs are on fire. And so then I'm like, I am just old. And then I was riding that bike and I'm like, this is way easier to ride bike. He's like, yes, honey, that's much nicer quality. That's why it's gonna be a lot 
easier to ride on your legs. I said, so all those people riding those bikes, those like souped up expensive bikes, I said, it's not really that hard. <laughs> we would see like really old people in the mountains and they'd be going down the switchback and up the switchback. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like, how could you even ride on that? But I just, I know that a nicer bike is gonna be a lot easier to ride. And so it's awesome. It's gonna be awesome to ride. We're gonna, we got one, then we're gonna get another one here. So we have two of them to go, but just nice to be able to go zip around it. Like they go fast and you can ride. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So we're gonna go ride the neighborhood tonight and then you know take some turns right next that's fun and then take Maxine for a walk and get um come back and we're gonna go swimming we're gonna go in the pool because the, the pool the heater's on we're gonna go swimming there tonight the sun is down kind of went down today which is it'll be kind of cloudy but it'll be a nice night swim tonight so that's it i'm gonna do a relaxing quieter evening at home i don't have to do any more editing i will be done and then um can just go to sleep tonight and have a nice night tomorrow i'll be back for Gabby or Fragment Friday because we're gonna make we're making food. I promise I'm making food. <laughs> I have to be home this weekend, so we're gonna make some food. So I'm gonna make food tomorrow, and um, it's gonna be a great day for watching. And sometimes we do things, and sometimes we don't. Just see how life goes. So, but I was excited to get my Christmas pile together. So now I know I have nothing, and I was glad to get my car filled. Those are two things I really wanted to do today. I made another appointment for a child for a referral. So like I got my list accomplished, so it's a good day. So I thank you for watching. You have a fantastic, I'm talking fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you again tomorrow morning with another video. All right, see you tomorrow, bye.